amazing. Hopefully. Yay! Hi, girls. Welcome to today's sweat workout. Nice, quick one. Um, pretty simple format today. We're going to be doing five different exercises. Um, we're going to be doing four rounds and we're going to be doing them for 45 seconds each with a quick 15 second changeover. Um, if you do have a medium to heavy weight for this, great. If you don't, it's okay. You don't need one. I'm going to be giving you guys some exercise options instead. So um, find yourself in your workout space. Grab your one weight. You are using one. I am going to be using a 10 kilo kettlebell. But as I said, if you don't have a weight, it's perfectly fine. I'm just going to quickly flip the box so that you can see more of me, but it's set up on low level for Pilates. Hopefully I'm not too far away. Um, and then let's just come into a nice little kingy squat just to open up the hips. Press those knees apart. And we will get ready to get moving. I'll get the timer sorted. So I use a little gym bar. Gym bar. or squats instead. I'm just going to pin myself. So, let's get ready to rock and roll, team. Just to get the heart rate. 
what we've got. Our alternating snatch, or mountain climbers. Remember changing hands each side. Four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Really lengthen out through your waist. As you press above the head, twenty seconds. Shoulders down, use those triceps. Five, four, three, two, one. Officially halfway there. We've got our swings next. Grab your weight. Four, three, two. And one, let's do it. Nice rhythmic pace. Get those glutes pumping. Really push those hips back. Lengthen out. Really eccentrically load on that push back. Five, four, three, two, one. Side lunges or skaters. I'd like to mention, if you don't want to do the skaters, but you want to do the lunge, you want to wait it, wait it. Up to you. All right, let's go. Try and jump as long as you can if you don't do skaters. Such a fun exercise. Try and jump the full length of your mat. 30 seconds. Looking good, team. Fifteen to go. Ten, nine, eight, five. Two, 
one are beautiful alternating statues or mountain climbers. Let's do it. Ten seconds. Beautiful. And then last exercise, our reverse plank. You need to come up for holds. We can keep those hips moving. Up to you. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Amazing. Last round, team. Taking us to 20 minutes. Back into our last round, team. Get that heart rate up as much as you can. Let's go. Go down as deep as you can on those lunges. Ten. Super important that we don't just train our hips on that front of the plane. We also do lateral work too. It's hard to sometimes feel. Push ups and snaps. Down to the knees. Up on the toes for our push ups if you can. Getting ready, strong through the chest. Two and one, bring it home for our last round. Ten seconds, guys. Nine, 
amazing. All right, alternating snatch on that, climbers. Grab your weight for snatching. Nice high elbow pull, driving the weight off the ground. Let's go. Stay down the chest. Four, three, two, and one. And then our reverse plank. Down the ground. Down, 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 down. Good. All right. Woo. All right. Getting ready to either hold or hit up to you. Beautiful work, five, four, three, two, and one. Phew, we're done. Take a seat. Round through your whole back. So not just the top of your shoulders. Try not to round through your seat bones too. Flex everything underneath. And just take five really deep breaths into the back of your ribs. Feel them expand. Find some space through your shoulders. And then sit into a 90-90 position with your hip speed. That's one leg forward, one leg going to the back, which should be some nice 90 degree angles. And let's just do a few little rotations through our hips, working on internal rotation, external rotation. Nice and long through those fingers, get the knees right down to the ground, over to the other side. Take notice if you feel like you've got any hip on one side or the other. So I always notice my left internal rotation is just nowhere near as good as my right. So I'm always really conscious of that. So what that means is that I think my left is always sat on my left. Then means that my glutes on my left go fire as well. As what my glutes on my right foot. So this is something to be mindful of. All have different balances, but we obviously want to be always trying to work on addressing them. Three, two, and one. Beautiful work. Team. I'm going to hit stop record over on our Zoom. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that one. Let me know how you went.